Yes, yes, your blessings go follow you. Right song for this moment at, that we're getting into right now because we're all about blessings. And yes, when I'm talking about blessings, and I'm getting a little bit by Blico. Guys, you already know what's about to come your way. Blessings go follow you, especially after the show because our guest is a leading gospel musician from Nigeria. She was born and raised in Imo State in the southeastern part of the country. She was brought up in the Christian faith and adhered to Catholic faith which was the denomination our parents belonged to. She often attended Mass every week in a local Catholic parish as a young girl. The genesis of her journey into the music industry can be traced back to when she was still a little girl. As a young girl, she was influenced by high life, soul, R&B and pop sound. This was made possible by listening to songs by Nigerian and Western music acts. However, gospel music had a special place in her heart. This was why she signed up for the choir as a teenager. Joining the choir helped improve her vocal prowess and her songwriting writing skills let us welcome the phenomenal the one and only the one who is used by god almighty in heaven yes the sweet beautiful dima <laughs> yeah welcome to the show dima thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much very amazing Hi. thank you very much what's the secret of this glow don't tell me jesus well number one it's jesus <laughs> <laughs> Right, it has to be Jesus. Yeah, number one is Jesus. Yeah, I think um, I, I do. I sing a lot. I think that helps me. Yeah, I love myself. Right. Oh. Self love. Yeah, self love. I love self -love. myself. Yeah. Very important. So yeah. speaking of self love, right? Yeah. Now you're doing something you obviously love so so much right mm -hmm. and um how does this make you feel knowing that you have achieved something that you always wanted your whole life okay um it all started okay like you said we i started when i was very young mm -hmm. okay this has been my dream but um something took me away at some point okay i went to school studied and i, I started to work okay so um started to make money okay so that kind of took me away but i've always wanted to do this this is me this is my life mm. that is what gives me joy that's where i find fulfillment okay so um um during the uh, pandemic okay we all started to work from home and um, that gave me a uh, time to do what I've always loved yeah. to do. You know, I just started by, you know, um, taking out the microphone, no, not, not the microphone, waking up at night. While I was lonely, there was lockdown, I couldn't go out. So I would, uh, you know, take my, my phone, right. you know, make some recordings, you right. know, post on Facebook. I mean, people were like, oh, come on, you can do this, right? Though at the age of 20, I, I did my first album. I released my first album titled Sufficient Grace, but I was young, naive, I didn't really. So it was just in my yeah. local Catholic church, yeah. so it didn't really go far. Yeah. Though I was on AIT, as a, yeah, RSTV, but he ended there. So, but like I said, work. You guys have sent enough checks, yeah, we just gave you the <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so like I said, work <laughs> happened. Mm -hmm. So pandemic now brought me back mm -hmm. to my dream. Mm. So um, I decided to, yeah. All so, right. So sorry. I know yeah. you have questions for her as well. But um, the reason I asked that question in particular, because mm -hmm. I wanted to see how passionate you would answer me to know if you're actually doing something you mm -hmm. wanted to do. Yeah. And without a doubt, yeah. I am convinced. Yeah. So now that I know, can I hear you as well? Can you just, right. you know, yeah. I, immediately I heard her speak. I already yeah. knew that she was going to have yeah. a glorious voice. So please, regale us. Would you want me to sing my yeah. song your or favorite, just sing your favorite song? Okay. Um, it could be your favorite, but I would like an original though. Okay. Um, okay, let, let, let me do something. I always I speak English, but I'm able. Yeah. So people ask me this question. What do you always like speaking? You, can you know, teach singing. Us. You have a song singing. Able in evil. A kind of yeah. We can back you it up, takes so. me home. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, we have our, this our personal choir here, so you yeah, can so just... Just teach us the best, just tell us what we need to sing with you. Is it my song or...? Uh, just original, <laughs> anything, anything. Original would be better though. Okay, Your original. Song. Okay. Mm. I just, I'm not going to do the Otim Bonomo, which is um, what uh, we're talking about. No, 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 we're going to come to So that. I'm going to do one of my songs, which I am dropping um, soon. It's, uh, the title is Chuku. Chuku. Of course, we all know what you go, yeah. So he says, 
Chukwe, 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 Chukwe. You cannot back me up now. Chukwe, Chukwe, Chukwe. Don't mess it up, careful. Chukwe, Chukwe, Chukwe. Moya Chukwe. Chukwe, 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 Chukwe. I knew that the voice was going to be glorious. So that they say, follow who know me, but I don't know where they go. See, eh? I was called copying her. Chukwe! Exactly, exactly. But you can't see. I can't. You, you, I, I need to sound like me most times. That was why like I said, hey, careful. Yeah, and, and then she was beginning to... He said, you know what you did there? Why are you running? Why? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, okay, okay, so you said um, the pandemic was what made you to really yeah. harness your craft and going. Mm -hmm. But now the pandemic is over. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's we assume yeah, it's over of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. So um, after the pandemic, how have you been able to handle everything? I mean, you, of course, you've gone back to you're not working from home again, right? Uh, well, we're still working from home, but we're we're going back. Uh, to the office sometime next week. Okay, so mm -hmm. going back to the office now, how do you think you'll be able to, I mean, of course, you still, you've started down mm -hmm, this road, mm -hmm. so you have to be consistent and yeah, everything. Yeah. So how do you think you are going to be able to manage everything? Okay, um, like I said, this is me. I, I have found me. All right. Okay, so when I talked about self-love, that's part of it. Okay, doing what makes you happy. Um, I know the, this job keeps um, food on my table. Yeah. All right, I love it too. Um, but there's something that comes from here, right? This is uh, kind of food um, for my spirit, for someone's for spirit. Some, yeah, for my soul, for people's souls, right? So um, I plan to, to um, do the two, try. Of course, right? find a way. I'll find a way around this. Of course, we have weekends. I can go to the, um, to my, to the studio and do some stuff. If I'm called to, to sing anywhere, I can always do that. Right. So I'll, I'll find a way around it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so there's been a recent debate, right, about um, polygamy. And, um, you know, we saw it with you, Ledoche, okay. you know, announcing that he has a new family and all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. And there's this debate like, oh, Christianity is not against polygamy. There's this and that. That. You know, I'd like you to enlighten us as a Christian and, you know, a Just believer. Give take, you know, yeah. give us your take on polygamy. Okay. Um, you know, I, I haven't really made any comments since this whole thing started. Because somewhere in my heart, I, I kind of have this feeling that this is a prank. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, to mm -hmm. be okay, honest with you. Let's assume it's not a so prank. let's assume. I said it to this morning. Yeah, yeah some, it somehow. Yeah, I even said it yeah again somehow this I feel um, it's it's a prank. He's trying to get um, traffic okay. or something. You know, he's. So I don't know. But if it's true, well, well, I'm I'm a Christian. Um, I am I am a Christian and I'm I'm a free spirit. Mm. Right? Dope. I'm a free spirit. Dope. So I I have come out from that, you know, from that um space. Shackles of yeah, religion. Exactly. That's what I have come out from there where I condemned people. I used to be like that. I mean, I attended a junior race where you can reverend oh, sisters, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So um it, it took me time to pull myself out of there, you know, because uh, in that space I was condemning people, but now Christianity um, has taught me not to condemn, okay? Mm. I don't know why he did what he did. I am not happy because mm. I am a big fan, okay? I, I'm a big fan, right? Um, I'm not happy about it. But I, I'm not going to stand here and condemn anyone, mm. you know? You, you wear your shoes, you know, where, where, it bites. where it pinches, right? Nobody knows what's going on in his own space. So I, I don't want to condemn him. Um, like I said, I still feel it's, it's a, a prank. prank. But if it's not a prank, I, I, I'm not I won't be happy. <laughs> yeah. 
know. You know? <laughs> and, uh, well, at least I admire your take on this yeah, one. I yeah. feel like, you know, you are quite political and quite, you know. You don't want to be. You don't want to be. Well, yeah, well you, you can say that. properly on the sense. Yeah. <laughs> on the fence. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so um, <laughs> tell us, tell us about Otim Bodombo. That's the pronunciation. Yes, Otim Bodombo. All right, tell so us tell us what, what does it mean? Okay, Otim Bodombo, um, people have asked me that question. If you ask me what is, what's the, you know, meaning, I, t I can't, I'll tell you, Otim Bodombo is kind of a name given to a big God, mm. Jesus. right? Mm. Yeah, Jesus Otim Bodombo. You know, giving to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Mm -hmm. So that's um, what Otimbudomo means to me. Gee. And uh, how did I even, um, how did this happen? Okay, um, I was somewhere um, in February, yeah, at uh, Eco Hotel. We, we were having a budget, um, quarterly budget defense. So, uh, yeah, and I went to bed, and at 2 a.m., I heard this voice. So, so that was how this came, right? I heard this thing. No, 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 you don't you move, no, Rikini. Oh, I, I picked up my phone. Like I said, Chuku. You heard it in your head? Yeah, in my, in in my, was I in my, in my or subconscious or in my dream. Or was so, it trans? You what, can't explain. Exactly, it. I can't explain. So I picked up my phone at 2 a.m. and I recorded it. Now, remember, I already had recorded Chuku. And I had already told my fans that Chuku was going to drop. But for some reason, I had to drop this one because it kind of tells my story. Okay, so um, my story. Um, in 2020, I was uh, given just an hour to leave. Okay, so that gave birth to Uti Can you tell us that story? We're talking about two years down. <laughs> yeah. How, you, how did you do it? So I just recorded Chuku. And I was planning to do the video of Chuku when I took ill, all right? So I was taken to the hospital, and uh, I had the fibroid surgery done, and uh, which um, turned sour, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I had a ruptured intestine. The, the next day, I was um, vomiting feces from my mouth. Oh, wow. Yeah, bile ruptured. So I was being moved from one hospital to another. Hospitals were rejecting me. So it was when we got to the third hospital, uh, military hospital, that they said to my sister, take her home. She's got just, she got barely one hour, right? At this time I was vomiting feces, all right? And uh, so I was like 90% dead. Wow. Yeah, I think the only thing that, uh, also team, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, um, so they now took me to um, um, Luth, which was where I found how it happened. I don't know, but they dumped me somewhere, and somehow, somehow, um, I found myself in the in the private ward because at, at the general ward I would have died, of course. Yeah. So in the private ward. So did that night, another surgery was carried out, laparotomy. You know, where my intestine, small intestine was brought out. In wow. fact, they told me before I entered the, this um, CFO for the second surgery that, hey, you have 5%. Wow. Chance of surviving. Of surviving. So even if you make it out of the TFO alive, um, you, would, you, still, you would die within 72 hours in the um, ICU. So, so it was like, wow. if you go in there, you die. If you don't go in, you die. So, you know, you just had to take so I had chance. to take the chance. So you know, because my intestine ruptured, bile ruptured, Whoa. I had That's yeah. Then then uh, my kidneys or my organs affected. Whoa. I had serious sepsis, and so so they had like eight surgeons. You know, like this one says, well, even if we succeed, what about your organs, right? So your heart will fail. See, so. Um, so, but it happened. So they took wood me in, and uh, I came out after like uh, 10 hours. So it came out in the ICU, how it happened, oh God, I do not know. So I woke up the next day and I opened my eyes and I said to them, can you take off this? I, I can breathe. So, yeah. So I, I spent almost a month at the hospital, it wasn't easy. But after one month, I developed DVT, deep vein thrombosis, and which was actually supposed to take me again, it was supposed to kill me within an hour. Because one of my legs was weighing like 37 kg, just one. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and the, the blood cloth was supposed to dislodge, 
and block my heart or my lungs or suck my brain. But it, it, it didn't happen. I didn't even know what, <laughs> what it was. I didn't know what it was. Uh, my sister was busy massaging it, my, my legs with Ori. Hmm. Uh, okay, you see, for someone who has DVT, yeah, you know, when you have DVT, you're not allowed to touch it. So my sister lifted, was lifting my legs and massaging, you know. So it was just, exactly, but it didn't happen. Today, I'm, I'm alive. I'm People young. said, you look is very I'm beautiful. I, I would oh, not, I would never Yeah, I lost 37 kg, I was like this. I took about 11 pints of blood. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was, it, was, it was a miracle. Nobody believed I could. And they said, OK, if you survive this DVT, because it's big, it's massive, you will end up in a wheelchair. You will not be able to work. You will not be able to walk. And so much elegance. So I, I don't know. <laughs> so OK, we're running out of time. Okay. We wouldn't want to dwell now. We just want to talk about the glory of God yes. upon yeah. your life. Very because evident. it's very yes. evident. Like, you know, we could go on and on yes. and on and on and on and talk about the yes. bad stuff. Yes. But come on, look at what God has done for exactly. you. Exactly. So let's single tingle the book. I think that's what we should do. Yeah. So, so let me say, so he says, you swallowed what came, you swallow, you're the lion that swallowed the lion that came to swallow me. Hmm. So that's what it means. I must be a very big lion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, Agu no rago biari lom chime, nare kene, onye na potaram no lulong, wotim bo dombo. So the lion that came to, that swallowed the lion that came to swallow me, I praise you. The man that pulled me out of the grave, you are Otimbodongo. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much, you know, but, um, you know, before we let you go, one final question. Where can people find you on social media? Where can they find your music? I know for a fact that I'm going to be listening to Otimbodongo all through today, you know, after hearing yes. your testimony, I feel like, well, it deserves to be praised. And yes, yeah, so um, you know, where can people find you on social media? Your you know your platforms where your music can okay. be downloaded or yeah. I said downloaded, streamed. Streamed actually. Yeah. Okay, uh, my Otimbo is on all uh, music um, platforms. All stream. Yeah, you can stream. Then my my IG is a uh, Adima um, Music underscore Adima Music underscore. Twitter is Music Dima. At music Dima. Alrighty. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you very much, Dima, for Thank being part so of the show. Much. Thank you for sharing your testimony with Thank us. Thank you. I feel like I'm a pastor already. <laughs> <people>. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that. Yeah. But yes, this is where we say we gotta go, where we gotta go. But thanks for watching as always. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time. And remember you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this very one, and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Live. Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time on Alta TV and in London on Ben Television and Star Times Channel 308. A big, 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 big thank you goes out to my <laughs> studio guest, Dima, for being part of the show. It's been very entertaining, exciting, enlightening, and yeah, very educative being here with you. And yes, I learned a few medical terms, didn't you? Right. Yeah. I just kept hearing mm -hmm. the words. Mm -hmm. and like, I'm like, okay, <laughs> this Google, Google will come true. <laughs> Anyways, and of course, Michael and Cole, you know, she's always very amazing. Give me there, my guy. Thank you for being part of the show. And of course, the entire production team, big shout out to man like Lawal for holding down the cameras. You know, man like Shay for being on the direct. And of course, Funke, our producer, and every other person that's been part of this production. I say salute. And yes, I remain your host with the most too much sauce on your screen. Your favorite boy, Ifeo Lua Oshuke. Let go. Let go. <laughs>